Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another hidden Lightroom feature that I think you'll find very useful. It's called Secondary Display. Often we need to compare two images. Maybe we have an image and we want to add a border to it. So we're going to look at that image and we're going to try to find a border that would match that image. Or maybe we want to add a texture to an image. So we're going to have a specific image and we want to find a texture that matches that image. Or in this case, I have this image of the boat, but I want to add a sky to it. So I need to find a sky that will match in color temperature and light direction for this scene. Now, I could just go to the library module and go to my sky folder and start looking at skies, but I have to kind of remember now where the light's coming from in this scene and what the color temperature is and like match where the clouds might lay on this image. Well, did you know that Lightroom has a second display capability? Now, this is really meant for when you have a second display on your system, but even if you don't, it really works very well for this type of application where we're trying to find another image to match a specific image. To activate it, go up to Window and then down to Secondary Display and click Show. And you'll see our boat is now in that secondary display. Now we could resize this, just go off to the edge and kind of drag it out if you want to make it larger or drag it in to make it smaller. Now, one thing you need to do is you need to lock this image on the secondary display because right now it's going to mirror whatever image I put on the main display will be mirrored here. So we need to lock it. Go up to the top where this little expose triangle is and click on locked. Now the boat is locked on this image. And if you wanna make more room, you could close down that bottom uh, panel as well so we could see the boat there. Now I can move it around, move it to wherever I need it I could go over to the library module, and then I could jump over to the skies folders I have. If I could find them, there it is. And we'll just click on a folder, and now I see my sky skies in the main screen. So I could go click through these and try to find one that matches in color temperature and directional light. And then I could kind of see like, well, this big cloud is gonna be right here, you know, stuff like that. I could try to line it up. So this is a really handy feature in my opinion that will really help you try to match two images to one another for whatever reason, textures, borders, skies, um, even if maybe you need to compare two images, this is another way you could compare the images for whatever reason. Now, of course, in this case, a Lightroom, I can't use Lightroom to replace the sky. I'll have to use Photoshop, Affinity Photo, or what's very popular right now, Luminar 4. So I'd have to take these two images from Lightroom and send them over to the other application to replace the sky. But this will really, I think, help you find the image you need to match a specific image. Now, when you're done with this secondary display, just close it. Just click on this little X in Apple. The X will be on the other side for Windows computer. And that's it. That's the secondary display in Lightroom. Now, if you do have a secondary display on your system, you may just want to use it for that. Um, those of you that have secondary displays know that you could set your system up so that you would drag a window a specific way to put it on that secondary display. For example, I usually have, not on this system, but on my other one, I have a BenQ monitor to the left of the main display. So I could drag this to the left and then it will but put on that secondary display. And if you want to do that, you could do that as well. And you could maximize it and stuff over there. But right here, it still comes in handy, even if you just have one display. So you want to compare two images. So that's it. Another hidden feature in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>